Hello, this is Chris Hammond with ChrisDoc.com. Welcome back to our much delayed DNN 9 video series. In this next video in the series, I'm gonna be talking to you about how to create and package a web forms based module in DNN 9. Now we're going to go ahead and assume you have some prerequisites in place. You need to have a local copy of DNN running. I prefer it that URL to be dnndev.me. If you don't have a development environment up and running, please go ahead and check out some of the prior videos in this series. You also have to have Visual Studio 2017 installed as well as our project templates. You can also find the installation for both of those in earlier videos in the series. Now when you load Visual Studio 2017, you're gonna have to run it as an administrator. I'll show you how to do that. From there, we're gonna create a new project utilizing the DAL2 compiled module template. There are a number of different compiled module templates available within our templates. We're gonna use the DAL2 version. You can use the Visual Basic or even the DAL1 versions as well. Now, in order to compile and package that module, we will have to switch into release mode, show you how to do that, how to build the project, and then we'll install the module via the extensions page within our local DNN development environment. Now, in the next video in this series, we'll go through in more details what you get out of this particular project that we're gonna be creating here. So let me go ahead and switch over here to my development environment, and we'll get started. So I already have Visual Studio 2017 installed, so I'm gonna right click on the icon for Visual Studio 2017. I already have it pinned to my taskbar. If you don't have that, you can go to your start menu and search for it. From there, we're gonna right click again on the option and choose properties. Now from here, what we can do is we can go into the advanced options and we can check the run as administrator option. What this will do is every time we go to start Visual Studio from that pinned taskbar icon, it will attempt to load it as an administrator. Now, depending on your security settings in Windows 10, it may prompt you and uh, hit, have you hit yes every time. You can actually disable that in Windows 10. I might show that in a future video. But we have Visual Studio 2017 here, so let's go ahead and create a project. So I'm gonna go to File, New, and I'm gonna choose the New Project option. From here, we're gonna go ahead and choose the DNN 789 C-Sharp DAL2 compiled module template. Now DAL2 stands for Data Access Layer version two within DNN. Down below, we're gonna go ahead and give our module a name. We're gonna go ahead and just call this Sample Module. Now we also need to provide a location for this module. The location is very important utilizing these templates. You need to create the module within a folder inside of the desktop modules folder of your local DNN website. My local DNN website is running at C websites dnndev.me. So I'm gonna go ahead and create, or go ahead and navigate into the desktop modules folder. Now when I go ahead and click OK, I'm not gonna click it just yet, Visual Studio will create a folder inside of that folder called sample module. It will then create all of the source code and project files for this particular module that we're creating. Now it's important that I do not check the create directory for solution option. Now you can do that, but if you do so, you have to make changes within the project due to the path of the references. So I just recommend you don't do that. If you don't do this, the, the solution in Visual Studio will be created inside of the sample module directory. So from here, I'm gonna go ahead and click okay. This will create our, actually it'll pop up a, a project wizard here. Go ahead and drag that to the middle of the screen. Within this wizard, you can change the namespaces, your owner information, email, URL, and even the local development URL. I'm not gonna make any changes in this video, so I'm gonna go ahead and just click okay. What we'll see next is we will get a new module created here in Visual Studio. It'll take a few moments, and when it's completed, we should see a documentation page that gets loaded. Now you can see the documentation page here. I'm not gonna read this for you. We'll go ahead and close it as if you'd like. You can just follow along with the steps here that I'm following in the video. So we now have a, a project here over in the Solution Explorer on the right called Sample Module. And we've got a number of files within that project. 
Now, in the next video in the series, we'll go into some details as to what the files are in that particular project. But for now, first thing we're going to do is we're going to switch into release mode within our project. After we switch into release mode, and I did that by clicking on the little drop down list at the top where I have debug release and configuration manager. I'm going to go to the build menu and I'm going to choose to build the solution. I can also press control shift B that will also build the solution if I don't want to use the menus. Now what we should see hopefully down below are zero errors once it compiles. If we were to take a look at the output tab, we'll see the process as it goes through the compilation. Now this machine just finished the compilation of this particular project, this module. So we have build one succeeded. So what it's done is it's actually gone out and created an installable zip file and an installable source control file for our project. Now what these files allow us to do is within DNN, we can navigate to the extensions page and install these newly created extensions. So I'm gonna go ahead and browse to my local development site. And that is at dnndev.me. Go ahead and hit enter and load that up. Now it will take a moment to load. This is the first time I've hit the site in a number of months as well as we just compiled a new module and new DLLs into the bin folder of that website. So even if the site had been up and running, it would have to recycle here because there is new code available, recompile and load the site back up. So in just a moment, we'll see that site loading here inside of my virtual machine. Now, this is a pretty empty DNN website right now. In a prior video, I installed a module on this page. It was the MVC module. So we can see where it says item name, item description, and item name two and item description two. That's just another module that's already been created and installed on this particular project or on this website. So I'm gonna go ahead and log in to my development website. I'm gonna log in as the host or the super user account. And once I log in, the website will refresh and we should see the new DNN9 persona bar load up here on the left side of the page. Now on that left side, we're gonna go ahead and navigate to the gear icon and we're gonna to go to the extensions page. If we navigate to the extensions page, this is where we can install extensions, modules, skins, containers, themes, etc., for the DNN platform. We're gonna go ahead and choose the install extension button at the top of the screen. And then from there, we can choose the upload file option. Now here, we need to navigate to that module that we created in Visual Studio. So I'm gonna to go to the C website, dnndev.me slash desktop modules folder. Within that, we now have a folder called sample module, which is the name of our project that we created. Inside of there, we now have an install folder. In there, we have an install zip and a source zip. You can choose either of these if you're installing it into your development environment. If you're installing this module into your production environment, you are going to choose the install option. I just chose the install zip file for now. Once the file is uploaded, we can go ahead and click on next. We then get some of our basic package details and information. We'll talk about where that information comes from in our next video. We then are provided with some sample release notes. Go ahead and click on next. We're taken to our license screen. We have to accept that license and then we can go ahead and click on next and then click on done to complete that installation. Now it'll take just a moment while the website recycles again because we just installed new code into the website. And once it does, we should be able to navigate back here to the homepage for our local website. And once that page loads fully, we'll have the ability to either create a new page to throw the module on, or we can put the module onto an existing page. I prefer to add new modules when I'm in development to a new page, one module or one page for each module. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is actually if I want to work with the existing page I can click on the pencil icon which is what I did in the bottom left if I want to create a new page I'm going to go to the tools icon there 
and I'm actually above the tools icon. I'm gonna go to the content area. We're gonna choose pages. And from here, we're going to add some pages to our site. So we're going to create a page called modules. Underneath of that, we're gonna create another page called sample module. We can do that by typing in the word modules. That'll be the first page and then sample modules with a caret symbol there in front of it that will uh, create that as a child page underneath modules. So if I go ahead and click add pages and close the persona bar, if I refresh the page here, now within my navigation in the, in the page, I can see under modules, I have a sample module page. We are simply going to go to that page now I'm gonna choose the edit pencil down in the bottom left-hand corner, and I'm gonna choose the add module icon. Within the window that pops up here, I can scroll down into the S's to search for my sample module. Click on the plus sign, and we now have this module available to us to place somewhere on this page. Now at this point, there's no content in this module. In the next video, we'll start to add some content as we talk through the functionality within the module. This is Chris Hammond with ChrisDoc.com. Really hope you appreciate the video.